Hi, um, I'm sitting here um, with another request from a dear art friend, um, Hi Wayne from Woodland Bows. He recently asked me if I would do a video um, uh, for his friends um, about uh, Irish, uh, about sorry, about arrow storage and um, maintenance and bow storage and maintenance. I thought, okay, I'll do that. Um, as you can see, I use a homemade cardboard box uh, for my arrow storage. I'm on, I'm traveling around, so it's just uh, on the go kind of thing, stuff that I'm using. Um, and I'm very much into homemade if I can do it. So here you see my growing arrow rack and uh, the storage in vertical position, um, arrow slightly, the arrow slightly apart, so the fletchings are not stuck together. Um, also with the maintenance is to keep, try to keep them in moderate temperatures, in, in moderate temperature rooms if you can. Um, when it comes to, if you haven't used them and you're finally going to get to use them, is just to check that the arrow shafts are all straight, um, check that there's no cracks or breakages in the shafts, the points are still tightly glued on, um, your feathers, your fletchings nicely glued on. Um, the knocks are not snapped or nicely glued and all, all in check for whichever type of bows that you shoot and arrows that you use. Um, also, with these feathers, make sure that they're steamed so that they fly really nice. Um, that's a simple process. Um, excuse these, these are my for repair. <laughs> Those to be fixed. Um, and that's it with regards to arrow storage. That's how I do it. And um, so that's as simple as it is. I use wax, um, linseed oil for the shafts, so they don't really need too much in maintenance wise. And I also, for the fletchings in between here, I will use um, good old trusty beeswax. Um, I use this for a lot of things. Okay, and now for the bow. <laughs> um, I like to keep my English longbow in a cloth bag, and this is um, a cloth bag that I had with the bow from England and so I brought that with me so the bow I have in here inside is made in America so to keep the um, normally you keep a bow in a moderate temperature if you can um, so I'm just gonna undo all this and just make some space um, take it out so you can see I do love the English longbow. <laughs> so move that out of the way. Okay, this one is just a single stave um, hickory. Um, it's been coated in linseed oil, so and not laminated. It's not. It's just a single stave. It's a Victorian style. Um, the string is a double loop Flemish string. Um, I prefer a single loop, but it, this has been well done. And um, I keep my string keeper is just a hairband, a nice thick elastic hairband, um, just as extra. So what I would do as if, is basically check it for cracks, um, things like that, um, and it seems okay, just so that you know there's nothing wrong with it. Um, if you haven't used it for a really really long time, my recommendations, what I would do with my own bow is I would string it for quite some time before I actually go and shoot with it once I've done the little checks I've just described. Um, so that's what I'll do now. Uh, just give it a, string it up like so and then I would just leave it for a while, um, half an hour, 45 minutes before I even begin to shoot. Um, and then basically the usual warm-up which is just do half pulls uh, graduating to the full pulls, about 10, 15, um, just the half pulls like so, like so. I recently, what you can also do with the string as well, um, I like to wax my string, keep it well, sorry, noisy track, I'll start again. I like to wax my string with good old trusty beeswax, so I regularly do that as you can see, it's so all the ends stays in 
I recently just put a new serving on. I didn't put a serving on this one when I first got it and it was as usual the string began to fray. Um, so that's not what to do. So I usually should really have a serving on it. Um, so I've just done that and um, I'm yet to put wax on that as well just to preserve this, the uh, string. So there we go. Um, I recently waxed this bow so I like to keep that so it gets like um, covered inside any little tiny cracks or tiny little grains in, in the wood. It go into that as well. So and that's it really and then it's a matter of enjoying the shooting and <laughs> the fun bit so um there you go i hope that's answered the the questions and given a good um overall of what i kind of do with my own stuff um obviously it varies from people to people and equipment to equipment and um i've enjoyed showing you and um have a lovely t a day evening wherever you are and bye for now <laughs>